Hey guys, welcome to another tutorial of Affinity Photo. In this photo, I'm going to show you how to enhance your beautiful photo even better. Let's quickly jump into the tutorial right now. So first of all, this photo is not bad, but I think it's missing a little bit of character. And first of all, I'm not a big fan of a mono dominant color. For example, in this photo, I have very strong orange look, which is quite obvious, but we could make it better because at the end of the day, just like Ansel Adams, we can always create better photo. Now, how to do that? First of all, the cloud, I think cloud could go a bit more, bit different color other than orange. So we're gonna select the brush tool, first of all, and make sure you add a pixel layer. So we're gonna work on this pixel layer. Obviously you can name it, but I'm not gonna do that, but you should always name your photo. So we have done it. Now we're gonna go to the blue, most likely teal blue right there. Now make sure your opacity is really low. In this case, I have 25 opacity and flow around 14 which is less strong now you can see that already there is a little change right there so to me it's a little white so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna add a bit more green but more into the light side so now you can see the impact so this is already amazing so it's more like a thunderstorm looking color so i'm gonna do a quick swipe and i'm gonna make the brush quite small again not too much but quite small i would say maybe a little bit bigger and first of all you should always um, add hotkey so that you can quickly change your brush size so now i'm gonna do that and the sweet quick wipe now i'm gonna reduce the opacity even more like this case 12 and add a little bit around the area so you already have a, like a huge change what i'm going to do i'm going to change the opacity little bit so that you should be able to see it but not too evident now check this one out this is before and after so you already have a quite nice looking change now second one i think around the tree this could have a little bit more impact when it comes to the orange tone but before i do that i want to work with this mist right there so in this case i'm going to add some tint so i'm going to add another pixel layer because each layer is going to affect each area so that you can change it later this is how we can work non-destructively now i'm going to change it to somewhere here the light tint once you are done do a quick swipe like that and stop it right before the dominant orange color and we're gonna go restart from there and then go over it you see that it has a, like a nice looking uh, pink tint which is pretty freaking brilliant and now you reduce the opacity even a little bit more like that about seven and add a little bit tint around the area so that it can have like a nice fall off so you have done that now add pixel layer number three in the pixel layer three we're going to work on the grass in this case i'm going to go to dark blue once you're done with the dark blue you can easily make the size of the brush even bigger no problem because you're going to work on the brush on the grass so I'm gonna do a quick swipe right there and do a nice little change. See that, it's, ha it's having a nice beautiful change which is pretty freaking awesome. Now, we are not done yet. So click the pixel layer, go to this wheel and ready for the magic. So I'm gonna pull this one down like that what's happening the effect of my green is only affecting the mid-tone and the highlight and the dark area is well protected i can of course modify it just like that so that you make sure that nothing is touched and it's a good way to do local adjustment so i'm going to show you before and after it's nothing crazy very light but useful so that's before and after and now from now on what you can do you can brush it over all over again and doesn't matter what you do it's not going to touch the dark area it's only going to work on the brush brighter area so that's a very easy way to do some kind of local adjustment now final part it's the one that i've been looking for what i'm going to do i'm going to add another pixel layer and then see that dropper i'm going to bring that dropper somewhere in the strong orange maybe on the sun would be appropriate right there and in this case i'm going to make the brush quite big and then make the opacity strong like that 
and we can reduce the opacity later i just want to see the change so i'm going to click it and now the color is changed so i think it's not too orange in my taste it could be a stronger so i'm going to bring it over all over again and click it and see the change now in this case what i can do i can manually do that so that i have my own personal orange look so now it's looking much better so what i'm going to do i'm going to add it like that go to the blend mode and change it to soft light then go to the wheel bring it on the side and pull it down from the left you can clearly see that it's only affecting the bright area doesn't affect the dark area now i'm gonna unselect linear and i'm going to do something cool like that so it having a smooth and nice fall off photography is all about soft change you shouldn't be able to see it, but it should be there inside secret now the last thing i want to do which is another interesting thing i want to make the tree even darker so i'm going to add another pixel layer then i'm going to go to the brush make it as dark as possible now i will zoom in quite a bit so that i can fine tune it in my way obviously now make the brush quite small just like that a little bit outside that's totally fine guys now i'm gonna brush it over don't worry about it we can fine tune it later so i'm gonna brush it all over it especially in the bigger branch so this is where we're gonna work on again you don't have to be perfect and accurate because our objective is to make make the tree a bit more standing out now we're gonna go to this wheel tool and then wait for the magic my usual typical magic so you pull the opposite direction down this time you can clearly see that it's already a big change what happening is that the my black color is only affecting the darkest area and protecting the bright and lower midtone so i'm gonna pull it down quite a bit just like that and pull it up just a little bit make it we can fine tune it from now on it's all about fine tuning so there you go so you see that dark area gotten darker now of course i can click it and make it a bit more stronger and that's fine now let's ready for the final result so i'm gonna zoom backward right select all the pixel layer right click and then put them in the group you always do a grouping now are you ready for it i'm gonna make it bigger because i'm assuming that you are looking at the photo in a tiny screen so i'm gonna do the small do it bigger for you now ready this is original photo and that's our current photo see that it's nothing crazy it's nothing serious but with a little bit of touch it can always enhance your landscape photograph i hope this tutorial has been useful to you you learned something and i see you in the next tutorial bye bye